Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is August 5th, 2016. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, we have the big non-farm payroll report out this morning, and futures are moving higher after the news. Looks like the report came out, and they said 255,000 new jobs were reported. So that's a much bigger beat. I think uh, everyone was expecting a number around 180,000. So that is a huge beat. And it does put the uh, it does put the interest rate hike back on the table for the Federal Reserve. So we're going to have to see how this market finishes out today. We'll see if good news is good news or if good news is bad news. Lately, good news has been good news and bad news has been bad news. So it really doesn't matter. Either way, futures are trading higher this morning by seven points on the S&P 500 E-mini to 2166 per contract. So we'll see how this all plays out. But in the meantime, we have lots of stocks to talk about. Let's get started. We're going to start off with Priceline today. PCLN stock is flying high this morning, reported earnings, I guess. And they also got it higher. Uh, market likes what it heard. Right now, the stock is trading at fourteen hundred and thirty six dollars a share close at thirteen fifty nine stock recently has been very very choppy um, right now when I look at this chart uh, while the chart is very very strong I do see a lot of resistance around fourteen forty three to fourteen forty five and again if you take a look at a big chart you're gonna see if you go back to November of last year and let's just do that real quick you're gonna see a big double top with a gap window here around fourteen fifty so you get to the 1442, 1443 level, start watching this thing stall out. You're going to hit a big double top right there. Um, so again, stock is strong. Great move if you own it. Trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, steer clear. Nothing to do there. Let's take a look at Activision. ATVI is the ticker symbol here. Stock right now is trading at 4222, closed at 4083. This is a pretty decent pop for the stock. I don't really see anything wrong with the charts here from what I'm looking at. Um, the big resistance level for the stock would be around 44 and a quarter, $44.20, somewhere up there. So give it the upside bias. I wouldn't chase it here. Wait for a pullback. If it gives you a pattern, then you can own it. This is something that we will be looking at in the intraday stock chat room a little bit later today. Let's take a look at Heinz Craft. I believe the ticker symbol there is KHC. And what you're going to see here is this stock closed at $85.54. It is now trading at $89.32. So this is a decent little pop higher. Nothing really wrong with the charts here. Um, stock right now probably hitting some resistance levels. But again, it may be able to trade to the 90 level. I wouldn't rule that out. Um, the max upside for this today is around $91.75 to $92. Gets up there. I would probably be looking to fade the equity maybe uh, pattern pending. So we'll keep that on the radar. We'll see how that plays out. Rackspace hosting is getting a big, big pop today. Uh, report came out that a private equity firm is interested in the company. I don't know if it's true. I can't tell you. Either way, if you own it, great job. Just trail the stop loss. Ton of support or ton of resistance, I should say, right around $28. So if the stock gets up to $28, I don't see it getting much above there. I don't think anybody's going to pay more than that for this. So just uh, keep that on the radar. Right now it's trading around $31, so it's a little bit above our level. Again, don't chase it. Um, if, the, if the buyout is true, congratulations. If you own it, trail to stop. No play on it whatsoever. Let's take a look at FireEye. F-E-Y-E -E is the ticker symbol here. Stock right now is trading at $14.10. Uh, closed at $16.75. So this is a pretty disappointing sell-off. I'm looking for levels here, but because this is a, a stock that has been around since October of 2013, I don't really have great levels here. I know the all-time low is 1135, so you're kind of in there. We'll look at this one once the opening bell rings, but there's nothing I would do with FireEye at the moment. Let's take a look at LGF, which is Lionsgate Films. Uh, the stock right now is trading at $20.00. And 15 cents closed at 1904. There's a pretty good little gap up this morning. Um, right now, when I look at the stock, you have a couple of levels here. Uh, around 2075 will be some resistance, and then you have a big resistance level at 2180 today. So keep that on the radar if it gets there. We'll look to play it maybe, and we'll look at the pattern once the opening bell rings. STSH, this is cognizant. Uh, I believe they had earnings quick spike earlier. Now it's coming back down. Stock closed at 58.77. You can see here it's trading at 57.75. 
Um, not seeing anything that gets me all that interested in the stock. So we're going to pass on this one right now. I'll try to work out some levels. Right off the bat, I do see some levels around the $52 area, which would interest me, but that's a heck of a lot lower than where we are now. So again, I'm not sure that we'll get it down there, but either way, we'll keep this one on the radar for later today. Let's take a look at Weyerhaeuser. WY is a ticker symbol here. Stock right now is trading at $32.65, basically right where it closed. So there's no real movement one way or the other. Resistance level on Weyerhaeuser, in my opinion, is around $34. So we'll see how that one plays out. Merck is catching a big bid today. It looks like um, the competitor, one of its competitors, Bristol Myers, had a failed cancer drug. And uh, Merck is benefiting off of that news. Stock right now is trading at 64.70. That's a great jump higher. The stock closed at 57.84 yesterday. So great move up for Merck, but it is overbought on every metric. So do not chase it up here. This should pull back. Let's take a look at Floor. FLR is the ticker symbol. Stock right now is trading down around $50 a share. Closed at $52.94. So this is a good little drop. I do think that there's a lot of support around the 200-day moving average, which is right here at 49.36. So again, um, I think if it does get down there, that could be a little bit of a play for the stock for a quick scalp. Um, I would probably go a little bit lower, go with 49.10 as a scalp play. So I'll have this up in the intraday stock chat room today. I also like 44.75. By some chance, it really sold off. So again, if floor sells off further, you know, two levels you want to watch for. Right now, it's at 50. You could play 49.10, and I also like 44.75 as my best bet. Uh, let's take a look at Weight Watchers. This is Oprah Winfrey's company now. She owns, I think, 10% of it or so, but you could check the news for yourself. Stock right now is trading at $10.64. Closed at 11.39, so this is down ticking. The only level that would interest me in Weight Watchers would be $6.35. If it got down there, I think that's a play for amounts. Otherwise, I have no interest in this name whatsoever at this point in time. Let's move over to the gold market. Gold futures trading down $12.90. Right now, they're trading at 13.54 and a half an ounce. So gold is getting hit after the job report. And then you have crude oil trading up seven cents a barrel to $42 a barrel. And um, I don't know what we're going to see out of oil today, but it has had a really good bounce over the past two trading sessions. Off the news, the U.S. dollar index is trading higher. That's a huge surge in the dollar. That's probably what's pulling back gold. And you could see um, dollars spiking higher on the news. Now, will the Fed raise rates? Their next meeting is not until September. So we'll have to wait and see. And then you have the Jackson Hole meeting uh, towards the latter part of August. So again, a lot going on here. But it does put the September rate hike back on the, ta back on the table, especially with markets near and, or at new highs. And um, we'll see if the market has any effect today. With that being said, futures up eight and a quarter points right now to 2167 and a half per contract. And we'll see what this market does a little bit later today. With that being said, everybody, come on over. Take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You'll see everything that we're doing there. We're having a great 2016. And we're going to look to keep that going throughout the rest of the year. With that being said, everybody, have a great session. And we'll see you on the charts.